Hi everybody, welcome to Marty's Place. Today, we're gonna hang a picture. <laughs> so this particular picture um, has a lot of significance. It's a picture done by a, a local artist and uh, her name is Elise Mullen. And Elise did this picture for the 2019 Stampede and that stampede was the year of the woman. So it shows a gal on a ranch uh, practicing barrel racing. So it's uh, quite nice. And this picture was, um, this is actually a print of the picture, but it was done for uh, all the sponsors of the stampede. So a limited edition of prints were given out and I managed to get one. So to hang this picture, we have to do a few things that we've already done. So one was to see how high in the wall we wanted it. And the tape on the wall shows the exact spot or the height that we want to place it at. And we wanted to put it between our pegboard and the filing cabinet. So I've actually put a little mark at the halfway point. So now the only things left to do are to uh, put on the wire hangers and there are a variety of wire hangers you can use but i've chosen the old-fashioned kind that you nail in so to do this what i do is i put a just a piece of wood because the edge of each of the pieces or the edge of the piece of wood will be where the picture hangers go and just a little bit of math that has to be done then is how far down then do I have to put my hangers and this shows four inches so what I will do then is measure down four inches and you can either use tape or put a small pencil mark down. Either works. So if I go down four inches and just put a tiny little mark on the wall, that shows where I have to put the hangers. And then using a torpedo level, I will just make a mark. Actually, what I'm going to do is just quickly put a mark in the halfway point. Good. And good, that's level, so I need a hanger here and a hanger here on these two little marks. As I said, if you don't want to make marks on the wall, you can just put a little piece of tape where that goes. So, what I try to do then is put the bottom of the hanger where the pencil mark is.
one. And they don't have to be perfectly level uh, to do this because after it's hanging, you have the ability to level the picture as well. So. So we have our two hangers on the wall and our picture about to go up. So a little bit of math involved when you do this, but nothing overly difficult. And again, you can always just use the torpedo level to make sure things are level. And that looks pretty good there. So, there we have it. We've hung our picture and our quick little lesson today seeing that we did math seeing that i'm a teacher we're gonna teach you how to finger multiply okay so in finger multiplication your fists are 10. so 10 and 10 and when you bang them together it means 10 times 10 which is 100. Now, each finger is a digit, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. So you can do 15 times 15 or combinations therein of. So if I, for example, want to multiply 13 times 13, I will show three digits. My fist is 10. This is 10. So when I put them together, I get 100. And then each digit is 10. So 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then the last thing I do is I multiply my uh, digits together. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 times 3 is 9. So again, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And 3 times 3 is 9, so 13 times 13 is 169. So if I want to do 12 times 13, wham, so I have 150, and 3 times 2 is 6, so 12 times 13 is 156. So the only thing I would advise as a teacher when you show children is not to have them do 11 times 11. Because if you think of how their fingers will come up, it may not be the best thing in the world. So take care and we'll see you again.